Alrighty then. Alright, so now, listen up. Everyone on YouTube and in the world of tubes. Okay, so you guys just got handed to you your data card too and your problem card too. So, the same thing as what we did from yesterday. Same thing as what we did from yesterday. So, your problem card. So, the problem card, so you can go through the problem card. Okay, the problem card says several points have been reflected across a line that goes through two points. What is the line of reflection? So now, remember, we use the patty paper to do these. So you and your partner are actually going to ask each other questions according to what you got right here. So you guys are going through this right here. So I'm going to give you guys about five minutes. I want you guys answering this. And then after that, we're going to go, not here. We're going to actually go over this. Okay? So you guys, get started. It's the exact same thing as we did yesterday. Yeah, just like what we did yesterday. Okay, how did we figure that one out yesterday? Huh?
you guys I'm um, hopefully people are paying attention a little bit more than they did yesterday yes it, it's the same circle uh, fit it in there somewhere you can fit it in there somewhere all right listen up listen up okay class I know I don't see any cell phones out right now, right? No. Okay, good, right? So, let's take a look. I'm going to look at my data card now. My data card has my information I needed for this. So, my first thing of information is what is where. It says A is L. The image of A is L. So, that means that I flipped A somewhere. Here's my A. I don't know why this pen never wants to work. There's A is L. Right there. There's my L. Ah, that's an L right there. Image of A is L. So what did I say to do? Fold it. Fold it. So I'm going to put one on top of the other, right? So as I fold it, Put it right on top. Okay, is it still there? Yep. Okay, so now let's take a look. Image of A is L, so it folds right here. And line that bad boy up right there so it looks like my line should be what? It looks like it should be R to G. So from what I'm writing down, image, actually I can write this one as pen. Of A, not that pen, is L, Across RG. Is it the same if we put GR? Yeah, same with GR. Okay, so let's try another one then. Okay, so the next data card, the next thing it says image of E is J. All right, let's see where is E. So we're saying E is J down here so let's see if I put one on top of the other 
Is E on top of J there? It looks looks like it's there, right? So it's on top of there, so there that means that my fold is the same, isn't it? My fold should be the same. So the image of E is J across R G. So now that I know this right here, I've actually got two of them. I don't have to go through and actually do them all. Now that I have two of them, I know that what is everything going to be reflected across here? RJ. Very good. It's going to be reflected across that. So I don't even know where my protractor went. Uh, so I am going to draw my line for this one. So we said it's going to be R to G. So it's all going to be reflected across that. Okay, so now that we get here, so we're going to do the mirror thing, but now I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on another page though. On another page, I'm handing it out right now. So this is what our new page is going to look like, and we're going to fill this thing out. We're going to fill this thing out. So this is going to go with your notes. So if I were to tape this down, I would tape it down under my lesson. But don't tape it down yet. All right, so now I would like everyone, everybody, everybody, right now, dig in your box for two colors. Everybody, dig in your box for two colors. Bless you, I think. Was that a bless you? Yeah. Okay. Then you are blessed. wine this is going to be the same one it's going to go under your notes but this one is going to explain it a little bit better it should be under 12 under whatever are we on what is it 25 yeah it's 25 right it will be when we're done when we're done when we're done All right, so everyone's got some colors. No one's trying to take a nap on me, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Trying to make you learn something. So annoying. Can you believe me? I'm trying to take a nap. All right, so now we're gonna do this right here. Class. Okay, let's try this again. Class, class. Yes. Okay, now, on this one right here, reflect this over the x-axis and the y-axis. So, we're going to go through this. Okay, first, let's find the coordinates for each of these. So, I'm going to find the coordinates of each of these. So, now, coordinate P, if this is my origin right here, it's going to the left, 1, 2, 3, right? So, that means that my x value would be negative 3, and the y value, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Okay. Now, q, that's going to be negative 4, four and? Positive 4. Nope. Wait. Negative 1. Oh, wait. One. Negative four, 4 and positive 1. Very good. Where is r going to be located at? Negative two and one.
Okay? That's pretty easy, isn't it? Now, now that we have that much information right there, so let's go and I'm going to do this with the patty paper because I love my patty paper. So I'm going to take my patty paper. I'm going to find a nice clean spot right here. So I am going to do this. I'm going to trace this bad boy out. Do we have to use the patty paper? Uh, it's going to make everything a lot easier later on. So just get used to it. <laughs> now, when we're doing this with the patty paper, mark your axes. So that means that this right here, this is going to be my axes. This is where the X and Y come together. And I'm going to put a little arrow showing which way goes up. Okay? Does everyone have that much? No. Yeah. Now, if I were to reflect this across the... So this first one is x-axis. So my x-axis is actually this one right here. And my y-axis is this one right here. So if I was to reflect this across my x-axis, what am I going to do with my paper? I'm going to flip it, right? I'm going to flip it over. So that's what I'm doing when I reflect. I'm going to flip it over. Bam, I flip it over. And now what do I do? Trace it. Nope, not yet. Make sure the um... axes. Yeah. Make sure the axes line up, right? So if I flipped it over correctly, it should be going down, shouldn't it? So that means that my new points are going to be, that one's going to be R, that one's going to be Q, and that one's going to be P. So you can kind of push through the paper a little bit, it comes out. And then do we trace it or else go out? Yes, you will. Now, but when I actually do that, what are these things called? What are they called? So, um, am I just going to call this one here R? No, R prime. R prime. Very good. So, what is this one over here? Q prime. This one down here? P prime. P prime. All right. Very good. So now, let's take a look at my P prime. So P prime right here. This says, okay, my coordinates. So what is the P prime right here? So it's negative one, two, three, right? Negative three, what's the Y value? Negative four. Negative four, right? Is everyone okay with this? Is there everyone, anyone got any questions before I keep going? Because. And the answer to your question, no, you cannot take a nap during this class. Q prime. What's Q prime going to be? Negative four. Negative four and? Negative one. What is R prime going to be? Negative two. Negative one. Look, one, two, and down one. So it's left two and down one. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this right here. So I'm going to actually take a look at this. So if I flip it over the x-axis right here, if I flip it over the x-axis, what happened to my x values? They stay the same. So I'm going to make a rule. So I'm going to call this just x. So that stays x. Now for this next one, look at the y values. They go negative. It's negative. So it would be the opposite. Very good. That's what I was looking for. So negative y. So it's the opposite of my y value if I flip it across the x-axis. And the patty paper proves it, didn't it? Yes. Alrighty. So now the next one says we're going to flip it across the y-axis. 
So this one's the y-axis. So let's line up our, our shape again, right? Okay. Oh wait, nope, this one's double prime. That one's double prime. If it's double prime, that means which one moved? The second one, the prime, right? So if the prime moved, you get double prime. If the original moves, I get prime. So we're moving the prime, that's this one down here, right? We're moving this one across the y-axis. So now I already have my axes marked, right? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna flip it, but which way is it gonna go now? To the right, very good, so let's do that. Flip it to the right, and now what do I do? Uh, what do you gotta line up? Line up your axes. So mark your points. So this one right here, and there. So we call this one P double prime. This one over here is? Q double prime. Q double prime. And over here, this one is? R double prime. Ah, oh, dang it, I did it in blue again. I was supposed to do it in green this time. I even pulled out a green pen for it. So I'll pretend like I did this. I know. Yeah, I told you to get different colors out, but you know, you guys could just color it, right? Yeah, yeah you guys could just color it. That'll make it even better. Mm -hmm. So we could pretend like I, I, you know, it was all planned out to do it like that. There we go. Yeah. All right. So now, let's look at the double primes. So if I, I'm looking at this one to this one now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm looking from my single prime to double prime, okay, we gotta find the coordinate. So now this coordinate at P double prime is one, two, three, down one, two, three, four. So it's going to be positive three and negative four. Q double prime is? Wait, whoa, positive three. Look to the right, one, two, three, isn't it? I think you have to teach them. Like, what, which box is Aren't which? Aren't you supposed like to do it with negative? Pointed? R double prime, that's two. Like, R, R is right here. Look, R is this one. Oh. Oh. The first one is P. Wait, no. What? Okay, so is the first, like, box, like, positive, positive? This one right here. Yeah, okay, that's all this is positive, positive. Right. So, oh, yes, I'm on, under the assumption right now. Okay, so if we count these way... These way are positive, so positive x's, negative x's. Positive y's, negative y's. So if it goes up, it's positive. If it goes down, it's negative. If it goes to the right, it's positive. If it goes to the left, it's negative. Does that help you out a little bit? Okay, let's go q double prime. It goes to the right, one, two, three, four. So the right four is positive, and it is down one, so that's negative one. Next one is going to be our double prime. So it's going to be positive two and negative one. Now let's do our comparisons. Let's do our comparisons here. What happens to my x's? It changed to positive, right? So if it changed to positive, that's the only thing that changed, right? Yeah. It changed to positive. So what does that mean about the signs? The signs are opposite. That's the word I'm looking for. The signs are opposite. So it's going to be my opposite of my x value. The opposite of the x value. And how about that y value? Is it staying the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It stays the same. So what do I write right here? Just a Y. Just a Y. So these are the rules. So if I give you a point, you would use this rule right here to actually just, without patty paper or without graph, 
Okay, you could actually do this without anything except using the rules for this. All right, so let's take a look at this one right here. Let's go down to the next one because F is for. Yep. Oh, I get it. <laughs> now, let's do our points. Let's do our points. Where is F located at? Positive one, negative one. Negative one, right? Where's U? Positive one, negative two. Negative two. Yes. You have a question? What's wrong? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Are you having trouble seeing from back there? I got two empty spots right here. I got two empty spots. No one wants to fill these empty spots. All right, so N. Where's N? Two, negative two. Two and negative two. Okay. So now let's start. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a nice spot of my paper and I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna start by doing my axes. So do the axes, make sure I mark which way it goes up. This is F, U, N. Okay, so what's the first thing I need to do? Across the uh, X axis, right? So across the X axis, so now, that means, is it going to go up or to the left? Left. Left. Oh. Here's the x-axis and here's the y-axis. It's going to go where? It's going up. Because it's across this one right here. It's across the x. So I'm flipping it the same direction as the x. So that's going to put me these points right here. Label it. This one right here is going to be my F prime. What's this one up here? Say U prime. U prime. And over here we have prime. There we go. All right. What is my location here? One one. One one. What is U prime? One, two. And N prime. Two, two. Okay, what are the rules? What is the rule for flipping across the X axis? Look at, look at your points. Do my X's stay the same? Yeah. So my rule would be X. And then what's my rule for the Y? Opposite. Opposite the Y. Is that the same thing we had for the previous thing? No. Yep. It's this one right here, the one in blue. All right, so the next one in green. Next one, it says double prime, so that means I'm moving the prime, right? Ooh. I'm moving the prime, so let's line that up. So since it's already there. So now, where is this going? To the left. To the left. So let's go to the left. Line up my axes. All right. What's this one down here at the bottom? F double prime. F double prime. Very good. What's this one up here? U double prime and all the way to the left and double prime. Wait, how is it double prime? Okay, which one did we move? Um, top right. The top right. What, what, what do these ones have? 
These have primes, right? Oh. Okay, so if I move the original, it gets prime. And if I move the prime, it gets double prime. So if you move, so if you move it again, it'll get triple prime, right? Yep, that would be a triple prime. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, very good. Is everyone okay with that? Yes, yes sir. Okay, let's, let's go through and fill it out. So now, F is for? Fun. <laughs> who do things together. And it's for anything, anytime. F is for fire that burns down the You and for your rain. Bombs. And it's for no survivors. Okay. Okay, so now let's find our locations here. Now, let's see if we can actually do this. It's the same rule. We already did the same rule. I'm not going to look at this yet. We say that the rule is supposed to be a negative x and the y, right? So that's what the rule is supposed to be. So let's see if it still works. So right here, so I'm using this one. So it's going to be, it should be negative 1 and just 1, right? Okay, what about you double prime? Negative 1. Negative 1 and 2. Two. Positive two because it stays the same, right? Really? Yeah. And let's look at n double prime. Negative two. Always oh, because I did it wrong. Yeah. And positive two. There we go. We can actually verify that. So f is at negative one one. U is at negative one two. And n is at negative two ne uh, negative two positive two. Is that pretty easy now? Yeah. Okay. So now this is what I'm going to have you guys do. So the rest of this here. You guys are going to fix this, the rest of these. You're going to finish the rest of these right here. Mm -hmm. And this is going to go in your notes. When I actually grade your notebook, I'm going to be checking for all this to be complete here. Okay? Uh, when are you checking our notebook? Uh, I just checked it this last one, so uh, at the end of this next unit. So it should be two weeks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's where it's going to leave us off at. And so don't forget, like and subscribe. Turn, and on, the bell. turn on the bell, the notification. Ah. There we go. Share it to your friends. Yeah, share it to your friends. Okay, so how, how many views? How many views do you guys want to go? 100. 100. Let's do 100 views. 100 views. I'm going to pick one of my subscribers, and I'm going to give them a prize. Why not us? Subscribers. One like. Oh, okay, how about this? 100 views, someone in this class gets that prize. Yeah!